What's up everyone and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm super excited to announce that I'm sponsored by Max Speeding Rods and that's a company that makes forge internals, the company that makes coilovers and suspension parts and all kinds of good stuff. So if you wanna check them out, link in the description. But as of now, I got a set of coilovers for the Miata cart. I am excited to check them out, see how they work, see how they ride, see how much lower I can get my car, and just super excited to have a brand new part on the car. Let's unbox it, see what's inside the box, and go from there. Doo -doo. Look at that, nicely packed customer service card with some products that they sell. So as I said, forged internals, I, it, turbos, turbochargers, bunch of goodies here. They sell a bunch of stuff. Once again, check them out, link in the description. All the documents here and here we go. We have a couple tools, uh, a couple wrenches to adjust the, I guess, the height of the coilover and uh, preload and all the coilovers right here. Uh, I got them in gray color. There were multiple coilovers in different colors. I was gonna go with purple, but they, the purple one didn't have adjustable dampening, and these do, so I went with these. I'm assuming these are the rears. They look pretty good. I will say they look brand new, so I'm super excited. They look nice and shiny, and I'm more than just excited to just, to just put them in. I just wanna put them in. So we have a whole set here. I'm gonna unbox all of it show you guys how everything works.
So after installing the coilovers, it is time to test them out. Now, we're gonna take it for a little ride just around the shop area and we'll talk a little bit about the coilovers, how they ride, how they feel, whether they lowered a bunch or not, and all the details that I feel the need to tell you about. All right, so we're gonna just move the car out a little bit. Hitting the table here. All right. Drop her back on the ground. And we're ready for the test drive. is extremely loud because it doesn't have well it doesn't have any exhaust or anything but it drives and so right now we're gonna see how well the coilovers do the first time in a video I don't want to drive around too much I don't have the fans so far so good the car does not feel bad at all I heard some reviews that they ride really soft and they bounce too much but as soon as you adjust the dampening, it feels really good. It feels really stiff, stiff enough. However, I also heard that these coilovers do not lower your car as much as they should. And with that, I will agree. On the rear, I was only able to lower it about half an inch. With that, my spring is a little, basically it's a very sketchy way of lowering the car. The spring is not there. It's not fixed. So basically, if I took the coilover, I could still move the spring. But well, under the load, under the weight of the car, it's fine. So as long as I'm not planning to do any jumps, which I'm not, it's gonna be fine. The car drives fine, the car drives good. The main thing, the coilovers look great. That's the main thing I was going for, really. And the fronts, the fronts are very adjustable, the fronts, Fronts went very low, feels good, and again, they drive pretty good. So going over bumps, it's not too stiff, neither it is too soft, it's very nice. So let's go over the bump real quick, like one little bump. Again, I don't want to drive the car for too long because my fans don't work and I don't want to overheat that thing. But we're about to go over the bump. And it was completely fine. Let's go over another bump real quick. And boom, look at that. It feels just fine. The coilovers definitely feel good. They're definitely, I don't want to say they're not premium, but they're not premium. You, you get what you pay for and it's just fine. But so far so good. I really enjoy them. They look great. They ride, they ride just fine as well. So. That's how I'm going to be sitting from now on because that's how you hold yourself. So, to conclude the installation and the coilovers in general. First things first, installation, straightforward. You just take out the struts and the springs, the whole other suspension that you had in the car. You put them in. Super easy. Just note that if your car is rusty, it's going to be very painful. You might have to get lower control arms in the rear, you might have to get control arms in the front. Just be aware. I had comments that these coilovers are very soft, softer than stock, and I've been having comments that this, these coilovers do not 
lower the rear, as I mentioned as we went for the test drive. I can confirm that the rear does not get as low as you wish it would, but again, on this car, it doesn't really matter because you can't really see like the fenders. I don't need to do any tucks or anything. I don't need to lower it that much. Obviously, I would like to lower it, and I have a few tricks in mind. Again, from stock to now, it's about half an inch lower. The front, I couldn't really tell because I had race lands and race lands were already pretty low. I think I lowered this about an inch more on the front. So the front is much lower and the car is possibly, just possibly a little bit raked as the rear is a little bit higher or taller than the front. We got the height out of the way. Now, how soft are they? Again, as we drove around, it's not soft, but my car is much lighter than any car you guys are going to be working on if it's stock car. It has body panels, doors, everything. This has nothing in it, no hood, no trunk, nothing. Absolutely nothing, zero. So it's lighter, therefore it might not be as soft and, and not as bouncy. I will say these coilovers are definitely not as soft as stock or not softer whatsoever. They're definitely a little stiffer, but luckily these coilovers have dampening adjustment. And if you're on the softest, the car will bounce a bunch. But if you stiffen them up all the way, you're good. You're good to go. It's not bad whatsoever. Actually, Caleb was pretty impressed on how well they ride. That's really it. I don't know what else to tell you. The coilovers are in. They dry, they, they ride nicely. The car feels good and the car looks much better. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Feel free to check out Max Speeding Rods down in the description. There is a code just Pasha, just one word, just Pasha. It is only 8% off, but any money off is money off, right? You can get 8% off. Again, they make coilovers, they make like suspension parts, they make air suspension, they make forged internals, I think they make rods, and they make some carburetors, carburetors, I don't know how to say it right, but carburetors, I hope you know what I'm talking about. They have a lot of good stuff. Check them out, link in the description. I appreciate them for sponsoring my build and giving me these parts for free. I am honored and happy that some companies do that and help out people like me. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video. The next video is going to be very soon. We're installing the ECU. We're installing some sensors, hopefully welding the exhaust in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Too much talking, I know, but I love you so much. I'm, I apologize for not posting for a long time. I've been figuring out parts and things and videos and I'm busy. I've been busy, so anyway. I'll see you in the next video very soon. Peace out, stay positive, love you, bye!